Hey, what's up, everyone? This is uh, Sinistrain01 bringing you a playthrough for Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. I want to excuse myself now. I kind of got a little bit of a cold here today. It's uh, pretty cold in uh, New York today, so I just uh, thought I'd put that out there. But we're going to go ahead and get into this. we got uh, campaign, multiplayer, and co-op. Uh, we're going to do the campaign first. Start a new game on normal. So hope you guys enjoy uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. This is going to be a great playthrough. I'm going to try to get uh, as much of the collectibles as I can on a first playthrough. Kind of blind run. Hopefully have fun. And let's do it. All men dream. But not equally. Those who dream by night. In the dusty recesses of their minds. Wake in the day to find... That it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men. For they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Cut out. It's all there. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a three-dollar bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. All right, here we go. Come on. Gonna get right into this with some melee tips here. Let's see, you tell. Okay, press Y to counter. Oh, okay, bitch. Uh, is that how you want to do it? Ah, there we go. Okay, so got that whole kind of give you a second thing to. 
on me, cowboy! You! Nice. No time to rest. No bitch, what's up? Yeah. Oh, you little dick cheese. Damn, Saul is kicking some ass. Come here. Yeah, you do. Ooh, double team. Uh -huh. Oh, you got one on me, little bitch. This? Hey there, big fella. Quick, hit him! How bad I did, my <laughs> Uh oh. Nice. Get Check, it. please. Here we go, chapter one, another round. To throw nearby enemy, press circle while holding in the desired direction. Oh, damn, man, that's a little bit of combo. Nice. I feel like I'm doing a, a combo in uh, Arkham City or something. This one's on me. Ah. Uh, this a private party, or can I join in? Like okay. Okay, I see. I got it. Nice. Damn. Ah. Uh, Anything you do. Ah. Get it. Uh, I like how it gives you this kind of a uh, little tutorial here to figure it all out. To attack against a wall or object. Uh, man, this got out of hand in a hurry. Get away from the little bitch. Oh, nice. What the hell? Oh, that's gross. That's nasty. Come on. Just give me a second there, mate. I'll be right with you. <laughs> He's taking his time. Oh, <laughs> that was me. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, ready for more. Nice. Yeah. Come here, you little bitch. Oh, that's right. Oh, man. Holy shit. Very cinematic. Oh, yeah. Oh. You okay in there? You hurt? Just my pride. They're going to need a plunger. <laughs> oh, that's great. Man, you're like controlling this too. Let's go, Nathan. Yeah. Get out All the right. back. Alright, let's shit. Thank you. Ugh. And smell like it. <laughs> oh, treasure. Let's see if there's anything behind the bar. Oh. Alright, we picked up uh two uh treasures here already. So that's it. Let's keep going. Very cinematic y. Stop him! I've got the old geezer! You ain't got shit, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ready to go, kid? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna try to look him around as uh, much as I can. Let's do it, Sully. Oh, 
Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. You've had enough, haven't you, mate? Don't. Stay down. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Well, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets, or blood, or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death? Or not? No. <laughs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back! Cut her! Oh, no. Oh, shut, shut up. up. You fool. Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlowe, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on. They're a right pair of arseholes. What? This is very interesting. All right. Here we go. Chapter two, greatness from small beginnings. Open Nate's journal. That's cool. Okay. Guess we're looking for something. Not sure what it is just yet. Huh. Can you read any of this stuff here? I guess if you go up against it and then do it. Yeah. Hmm. Nope. Hmm. Nope. Okay, there's got to be something that we're actually looking for. Maybe it is in this journal. Sorry guys, I got a really, really bad cold right now. Huh. So this is, must be, oh that's right, this is the, oh, hey, 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 what was that? This was all of uh, Francis Drake's stuff.
Not here. Oh. Man, we already picked up four collectibles in like the first 15 minutes of the game. Maybe upstairs. Graphics are still as uh, sharpest as ever. I still do truly believe that the the biggest potential for the the best gaming console is definitely all on PS3, but they just still really haven't learned how to use it to its full advantage yet, which is still kind of sad. It's gotta be in one of these cases. El museo cierra en 15 minutos. So whatever we're looking for is obviously in one of these cases. I'm sure it has something to do with the map that we have, but Wait, here it is. Hey, we got it. Ah, <sighs> oh, crap. Ratita callejera, suélteme. Tu clase de gente no es bienvenida aquí. Quédate afuera. Pendejo. Oh, there he is. Alright, looks like uh, we're following Sully. That's some good shit. Just checking around. Oh, looking for anything that's shiny. Oh yeah. The cup of life. I gotta keep up with it. I'm trying. There's no sprint button. There he is. Ah, there he is. George Corner. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put it back. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> it was rotten anyway. Ah, now where did he go? There he is. Trying to look around for any collectibles at the same time while you're doing this, man. I love it. Where is he going? There he 
is. Don't see anything shiny. Looks like he's gone upstairs. Oh, damn. It's locked. Oh, we're gonna do a little bit of find another way up. Yeah. Yes, it's gotta be this way. Uh. Guessing it's this way, maybe. Uh. Definitely not that way. Still the There we go. I can't believe I didn't see that before. El Morano. Don't even tell me I could have went that way. What's he doing in there? I need to get a better look. Yeah, that's one strong kid. That's a ticket. Gracias. Adios, amigo. Okay. I gotta get that wallet. Crap. I can't go down that way. Okay, so it looks like we're going this way. Oh. Scary there, huh? Oh, nice. He's cutting through that building. I bet I can spot him from the roof. This is awesome. Oh. Oh. Who was your friend? Ah, they used to be in a relationship, huh? Not that way. Looks like I can climb down that side. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Oh, sweet. Looks like we're back where we were before. Pardon me. Excuse me. Don't want to lose him. <laughs> hey, man. Don't blame me. You can't sprint. Damn it. Don't want to go down there. <laughs> Looks like you can't eat more than... Find a way to get that wallet. 13 years old. Crap! 
Zurück zu mir, viejo! Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, sore subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? All right, let's do it. Chapter three now. Let's see. I'm guessing jumping. And I'm right. <laughs> Conveniently placed rope. Gotta love them, huh? Doing a little looking around, guys. I'm sure there's probably something I missed back there. That music was a little scary there, huh? Let's see, where am I going? It's gotta be up there. Doesn't make any sense, though. I see that there, so I know it's something there. Huh. No. Aw, oh, come on. All right. Maybe up here. There we go. There we go. Ah, oh, that was close. Okay. Is that like look like balls hanging from him? <laughs> There it is.
Whoa. Damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? <laughs> Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast-off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! Stop the boy! Holy crap. Oh shit. I hope I went the right way. I went up. The ring. <laughs> oh, get up there. Break the door down. Oh god. Yeah, I like this. Oh nice. Oh damn. Can tell that was square. I'm not used to playing PS3. It's been a while. Get out of here. There he is. Oh, crap. Who the hell are these guys? Okay, so you can't get caught. There he is. Oh, crap. Who the hell are these guys? Oh, no. Ah. At least it doesn't take you that far back, so. I guess uh, following the birds kind of is the... Oh, I just did it again. Come on. No! Controls are still a little bit like, uh, not as... Since, er... See what I mean? Contextual. It's like your animation has to run out before you can really do the next thing. Come on. I guess I'm up here. Of this. <gasps> what the fuck? Did yeah, they just shoot a fucking kid, man? Really? Yeah. Fucking assholes. Yeah. Can't believe they just shot at a kid. Get up there. You might want to hurry. Dick cheese. Oh, hey. Nice, Sully. I didn't want to get my back. Bros for life. The yellow gave it away. That's the way to go. Whoa, shit. Little Jackie Chan. Oh, they made it. Come on. We've got him. Excuse me. Coming through. Hey, Kazaki. Sorry about that. Yep. Sorry about that. <laughs> so I just threw him off. And how are you guys staying with him? Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Don't shoot at a kid. No. Okay, at least it wasn't that too far back. And he totally missed the jump. <laughs> yeah, that was a, cl a close one. I died. A real, real close one.
What are you shaking for? Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Come with me if you want to live. Come on. You're okay, kid. You can relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? You gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was going to take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem... Sic Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for them. Look, kid, a client wants something, I obtain it for a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. You look pretty friendly to me. Oh, yeah, well. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. 
You stick with me and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah. Clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? <laughs> okay. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. They're gone. All right, lads? <laughs> oh, God. I thought you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. Right. <laughs> All right. All that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Uh, you were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on this good side. <laughs> all right, Brodice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. You do? That's awesome. Let's get moving. All right. Shit. The filth. This way. What? Come on. Really? Come on, Charlie. What's the holdup? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, it'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. It'll all be over soon. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, that wasn't too bad. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing, I'm fine. It's kind of nice playing as a... Uh, oh, shit. Playing as Drake as a child, I must say. That's blocked. Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. You little oh. dick There's cheese. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> we'll ah. Let's move this thing over there. Then you drop down pretty easily. Woo. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the help. Come on, move your lazy asses. That's right, Nathan Drake's a fucking badass, right. man. Looks like the coast is clear. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Good evening, lads. All right, darling. <sighs> Looks like hell spit you two back out. Uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charlie seemed to enjoy himself a little bit too much for there my taste. Go. <laughs> my ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> well, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, it's funny. Do you have any trouble? No. <sighs> Easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door scary pop inside him behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. Don't underestimate these blokes. They're not messing about. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in, and we sneak out. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? All right, here we go. I'm solely tempted to just pick up that briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, man. 
Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're on to. Yeah, well, at my age, a bird in the hand, you know. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. Chloe's looking hotter than ever. Seems pretty quiet. I do have to say I like Chloe better than Elena. She's more the wild type. You think they're still in there? Well, we're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. No, we can't afford to waste time standing here. Obviously, I think I'll I find know a way in. Check it out. <laughs> you three stay here. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. You are right up there? Yeah. Sorry about that. All right, we're getting somewhere. Getting somewhere. I'm going. Gotta love the birds. Let you know where the hell you're going. Better hurry up. <laughs> Man, this guy's been through so much shit. Crap. All right, where the hell are we? Empty? Wait a minute, where did it go? There it is. I'm a big fan of the platforming games. I love this kind of stuff. Although Drake probably has the easiest... Oh, hey, Tracer. The easiest kind of platforming. Which is pretty much the A button. Good music. Always Does great music. Sense? I think before I press that button, I'm gonna look around a few, a little bit more. Now. Ah, see. It pays to discover. Sums out of the ordinary. Check it out. Anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm sure this is the right one. Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. They were here, all right. I can still smell the exhaust. Okay. Gonna do some investigative digging. Oh yeah, get out of my way, Chloe. Fuck you, thinker. Look at this. Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. Okay. Up. Oh. Yeah. Come on, you're supposed to be the smart one. What are we missing? Hey, check this out. <laughs> That's awesome. He recognized it. That's great. I love this game. I'm in love. Another one there. Oh, some kind of mechanism. Yeah, maybe. 
Four tires, four points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You two, like there and there. All right, everybody, on three. Ready? One, two, three. Meow. And? Well, this has got to be it. It's interlock mode. Scan the environment. Wait, it's the light. Uh-huh. Sully, a aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. Well, I am for a goddamn cadaver. Um... Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Uh, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. All right. Let's keep going. Well, I think we agree this is more than a little weird. Drives their car underground. Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. Smart ass. It looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnels. I like the way that uh, the characters move. They don't just move like game characters, they move like real people. Hey, over here. It's locked. Not for long. Hey, the first time we shoot in this whole game. Bond. James Bond. Come on. Someone's been drinking down here. We should be able to squeeze through here. I think. Lead on, McDuff. Oh, for God's sake. What? Lay on. It's lay on McDuff. I just keep Can thinking that the out. cinematic's gonna do it, but it's actually me that controls, you know, moving forward. Even though this is a cinematic, see, he just stopped. That's that's all awesome. Right back there? Yeah, yeah, you know, just just keen on the old tight spaces. That's all. That's and what she said. Er, he. Oh, thank God for that. Who the hell is McDuff? Is there no bottom to your ignorance? What about, uh... Duff Bear! <laughs> Duff Man! From the... From the Simpsons. Don't have a cow, man. Alright, nothing to see here. Oh, what the fuck? What's that? They're here! I've been playing too much Battlefield and all that shit, and they got all that auto aim crap. Thinking I was gonna auto aim for me. <laughs> Defend. Uh, I, don't, I think I want to keep my silencer right now. Would make more sense. Yeah. Bitch. Nice. Hey, all right, treasure. Okay, tunnel's right below us. At least we're still on the right path. That's awesome. <laughs> I know that didn't do anything, but that's funny. That is a long way down, huh? And we got a big jump. So, uh, well, life is worth nothing without taking risks. Ah. 
I Careful, see. A treasure. Okay, but I need to get back up. There we go. No, I want to go down. No. There we go. Okay, he automatically grabs. That's good. <laughs> All right. More. Get down. Wait until they're close enough. Nobody's here, guys. Come on in. Join the party. Hopefully, we can do like a melee thing Ready. here. Ready when you are. Wait for it. <gasps> oh, that was... Oh, did you see that? <laughs> I didn't even shoot. I just fucking kicked him in the head. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Mm, oh, so you're going to climb. There's a passage up there. And a ladder. Yeah. Looks like it's jammed, though. Let me see if I can loosen it. <laughs> okay, too many sexual puns here, guys. Look out, here it comes. Well done, mate. Looks like there's some sort of gate up there. Let me see if I can loosen it. <laughs> oh, what's this? Nice. You cut her a little help here. Sure, your, gotcha. your mom helps. Oh, there it is. All right, ready? Pull. There you go. Come on, Sully. You got this. Got it. Okay, Charlie. Come on. the tunnel again. That's too far to drop there. We'll break our damn necks. Crap. It's a dead end. Not a dead end, my brother. Get out of my way, Sully. Damn it. Down here. Yeah. Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know, mate, but whoever they are, they are seriously weird. We are now Chapter 5, London Underground. Oh. Look at the ironwork. Well, it's got to be Victorian, maybe older. Man, all this stuff's been rusting for a century. Maybe we can get through here. Oh, no way we're moving. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, 
Hey, wait. It's a counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. And I'm the man for the job. climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess who? <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> who else is back to do it? All right, climbing, climbing. There's a ladder. Maybe we're gonna go all the way around and do this, huh? Nope. Go this way. Yeah. Whoa, I was there. I didn't even plan on doing that. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, check all around. There's got to be some type of collectible on one of these walkways here. What the hell is this place? Ooh. Usually there is one. Shit, get down. Yeah, make make all that noise there, brother. Oh, nice. Good eye. Thanks for having our back. I'm liking this Charlie character. Hopefully, he won't be one of those guys that betrays you in the end. There's Marlo's car. All right. From here on, no more guns. Wow, look at that. They really should make this co op, you know. I know they have co op, but an action part of the campaign would be awesome. Must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, is this King's Cross? Don't move. Hey, hey, you got us off. Approach an enemy unnoticed in Press Square. Wrong, man. We're from Cleveland. <laughs> We're from Cleveland? Oh, well done, mate. a boy. Don't know what you're talking about. Well, from Cleveland. Alright, don't see anything. Don't even know where the hell to go. What the hell kind of place is this? I've never seen anything like it. Some sort of train station or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be almost 200 years old. Jesus, just when you think things can't get any weirder. I thought I saw something flashy. No. What the hell that is? Nothing. Gotta be something I missed. We haven't had a collectible in a little bit. Freak. Or oh, sorry. 
drink. Nah, I ruined it. Shit. <laughs> Take them out quietly. Quietly. Nicely done, boys. Come on. They must have gone through here. And it gets weirder. Oh, this stonework. Looks like Tudor. 16th century. Nice looking place you got here. What? This place is really starting to give me the creeps. Up this way. Quietly, Nate. Wish there was like a crouch button. Hey, over here. He was a loose cannon, and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. Four hundred years of searching. Finally, Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. I love the uh, the more emphasis on freaking. No, no, keep the silence, kid. Oh, okay, so why tell me to pick it up? This is quite the operation. Look at all this stuff. Ugh. Nate, focus. We haven't got much time here. Yeah. Yeah. What are you... My God, do you know what this is? It's a book, mate. There's a lot of them in here. It's a library. Yeah, it's not just any book, wise ass. Belonged to T.E. Lawrence. You know, Lawrence of Arabia. Yes, 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 I know who he is. This was mailed from Dorset on the day of his motorcycle accident. May 13th, 1935. They must have killed him once they got their hands on it. They? Yeah, they, they, them, whoever these people are. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. It was an accident. Witnesses saw a black car run him off the road. Guys. Oh, oh, oh so it was like a big cover-up. Maybe. Nate. What? That thing that you have been waiting 20 years for? Right. <laughs> okay. 
Here we go. L. O. H. D. N. Huh. What is it? Uh, it's long hidden. What? Shush. No shit long hidden. Are you kidding me? No offense, mate, but your ancestor was a right asshole. Would you shut up? It's an anagram. Golden Hind. The Golden Hind. Drake ship. Yes. It's a clue. It's gotta be something hidden in this room. All right, spread out. See what you can find. Oh, I love these mysteries. What the hell are we looking for, anyway? The Golden Hind. Could it be a model? Maybe a painting? It's a ship. I think it's even here. It's gotta be here. Well, could be a Golden Hind. For all we know. Okay. What? Buckland Abbey. It's a place you've never been there. Move on. What well, is a chair there made from the wood of his ship? Maybe it's hidden in there. Yeah, I suppose it could be, but no, no, it's got to be here. Okay. This place is amazing. Look at the ship. Things in here must be worth a fortune. Nate, for we shouldn't be screwing around like this. They'll be back any minute. Hey, I ain't screwing yeah, around. Hurry, hurry okay, nothing so far. I think when you get close enough, it would. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at that. I didn't even think to. I was trying to get back up, seeing if it was. If there was something upstairs. Something there too. Well, something used to be there. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> oh shit! It's a trap. They're here. Take cover. Ah shit! Oh! Uh, you might want to hurry up there, Nate. Put it in your pocket. Oh no! Read it. In the middle of a firefight. Went to Arabia. Oh, dude, that was fucking sweet. All right. That was sweet. Admitted, people. Hey. Nice try, dude. Seriously. You want to try this again? Yeah? You're messing with Nathan fucking Drake here, little bitch. Bitch, you're going to need me in the balls. Yeah, bare knuckle brawler. All right, we're finally getting in a lot of fighting now. Ah, suck at this aiming. Yeah, 
Come on, take him down. What you thinking? What's up? Damn, now I got me an automatic rifle. God, I gotta get used to the PlayStation 3 controls. I definitely do not like the PlayStation 3 controls when it comes to... When it comes to analog control. Come on, hurry up. Don't die. Here. Oh, you little bitch. There you go. Man, it's really bad. I need to, like, change some of this. Let's see. Game, no. I think it'd be in buttons. Really, you can't... Con Hmm. Camera. There we go. Duh. Alright, let's take it down. Okay, let's try that. somewhere. Ah, fuck it. I'm just gonna melee as much as I can. That's where it's all at. Hey, where you going? There's a ladder. Come on, hurry up. Oh, nice. Oh, we got a shotgun there, huh, buddy? Dude, that's it's gotta hurt that back there, huh? We say we take this shotgun. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, we're going the wrong way. Whoa! Oh, I got grenades. No, I don't. Yeah, see, it's. I will say, I don't know if I, I'm not a fan of the uh, aiming system here. Because it's like it's not very responsiveness when it comes to aiming a weapon. You guys, you know, might have better luck with it, but. At least from my perspective. Cutter, where the hell are we? It's the North Atwood Station. Come on. Looks like from the multiplayer level that I played in the uh See it's like I press it and then a few seconds later it actually does it. Or not a few seconds but very precious time. Maybe I'll get better at it with a little bit of time, but it's definitely not as awesome as uh, Uncharted 2 was. Those controls are really good. Oh, 
Oh, nice. You gotta love that move. That's like his, his best move. Chloe, can you read me? We're coming out the old North Outwood station. There's no time to explain. We got company. I don't know how the shotgun to the fucking head didn't do anything to him. That's cool. <laughs> what the fucking Son of a bitch. Up here, hurry. I got one shot left with this guy. So annoying. Are you gonna shoot? Yeah, I'm shooting the lock. God back damn up, back up. Come on, come on. Go, go, go. Man. says, well, you better tickle mine, too, because now i got to catch the goddamn thing. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. To a job? Well done. Yeah. Are you going to join us, darling? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the map proves it. Drake didn't screw around in the East Indies for six months. He sailed straight through and headed to Arabia. Right. But here's where it gets interesting. You see this, Mark? This is John D.'s signature. Who the hell's John D? John D, one of Queen Elizabeth's closest advisors. Everybody knows that. Yeah, yeah, he was a great mathematician and navigator. Okay, way ahead of his time, he's probably the one who invented that. Seriously into the occult. I mean, like a really creepy dog. Yeah, see, way. he signed all his letters to the Queen with this symbol, meaning he was her eyes. The original. Double O seven. <laughs> oh my God, that was cool. Remember I just said at the same time he did. So it was John D who sent Drake to Arabia. Yeah, it looks that way. D and Elizabeth and Walsingham. Great, but what for? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And this is where T.E. Lawrence comes in. See, before Lawrence became Lawrence of Arabia, a great film, he was an archeologist. And even when he was just a kid, he was obsessed with history, everything to do with knights and the crusades. And he traveled all over documenting every crusader site he could find. It, it's all in here. All right, you lost me completely, kid. What the hell has this got to do with Drake? I'm getting to that. See, after the war, Lawrence said that if he were ever to go back to Arabia, it would be to search for this place he called the Atlantis of the Sands. Now, the legend crops up over and over again under different names, Ubar, Aram of the Pillars, the City of Brass. But the story is always the same. Well, city of immeasurable wealth, destroyed by God for its arrogance, swallowed forever in the sands of the Rubalkali Desert. Right here. <laughs> I like the immeasurable wealth part, anyway. And you think this is what Elizabeth and Dee sent Drake after? Oh, yeah. And more importantly, it's what Marlowe is after. So, wait. If Drake was on a mission from the Queen to find this place, why all the secrecy? I mean, it looks like he went to a lot of trouble to hide whatever he found, even from Her Majesty. I don't know. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, what was that? No, hang on a second. Because if you recall the last time we went halfway around the world searching for a lost city, things got more than a little dicey. Yeah, but this time we have the upper hand. I mean, look, Drake only had half the clues. Lawrence only had half. We have both. And Marlowe has nothing. Small problem. The Rubalkali Desert, 600 miles across. The Bedouin go around the damn thing. And even if we knew where it was, which we don't, we would die trying to find Just it. Just hold on. You see these symbols here? Yeah? 
Looks like Sabian script. Sabian script. Right. Look, the Crusaders were searching for the same lost city a thousand years ago. But out of all the sites Lawrence documented, only two are marked with these symbols. One in Syria, the other in France. Oh. No, you two are going to Syria. We're heading to France. Look, we track down these clues. We find Lawrence's lost city. I'm sure of it. Well, and then what? How are we going to get across 600 miles of impossible wasteland? Well, it's in the middle of the desert. So technically, it'd be about 300 miles. Oh. <laughs> Look, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We burn that bridge when we get to it, eh? Exactly. What do you say? What the hell? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Line, I guess. <sighs> Don't. <laughs> Looks like we're going the rest of the way on foot. <laughs> what? Leave it to you to find a friggin' jungle in the middle of France. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're definitely headed in the right direction. Chateau should be this way. Not too far. Come on. <laughs> 